Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And so uh, yesterday we had the rollout of a dev channel build for Windows 11. Dev channel, for those that don't know, is technically checking out the future of Windows. It's the only ring that you cannot get out of without reinstalling Windows. And uh, it is uh, a... Um, new build that we got uh, we get them roughly once a week um first one thing that i want to talk about is the um the fact that a lot of people wish that we would have a way to roll out or to roll back or change um you know the uh, channel the insider channel we're in when we're on dev uh, unfortunately uh it is an annoyance for some and um I'm sure Microsoft could do or find a way to, you know, do something like that and, you know, just have us like reinstall. It's a, the problem with, with that, and, and I understand it, is when you um, have a version of Windows, um, you can go forward with the versions, but you cannot go backwards in general. And I think that's why the, the, you're stuck on the dev channel. The beta channel and release preview often merge in the same builds. So that's why often you can go from one to the other. But um, in general, it's, you know, in release preview goes to beta and usually cannot go to release preview back. And beta goes to dev. You can't go back to beta. But release preview and beta at least give you a chance to get out. And it's true that dev channel, I think, should have a way to get out also. Um, which is uh, something that I think a lot of insiders are um, asking. And I wish Microsoft would listen to that. that if you're on Dev Channel, some of us would maybe like sometimes to just get off of Dev Channel because right now it's not possible. They gave us a chance when that happened, uh, and it was when the build and the dev and beta matched. Uh, but it, there should be a possibility at any time, not just when there's a specific time to get off or to change the uh, the channel. As for the rest, the install went well. It was pretty fast here on this machine. It was a very quick install, so no problems, nothing unusual. Um, and um, this is um, something that uh, is... Uh, you know, nothing much new to talk about. It's, um, there's a, some of you will see it. Um, there is a new panel. So when you go to the settings and when you go to the accounts page, some of you have now here in an account, the, the account page, some info about your account. So um, you can actually see your account settings and stuff like that. Now, I don't have the page. Uh, some of you do have the page. So it depends on your, uh, if you're a ch uh, the chosen one, um, because these are options that are um, tested for some, not others. I still don't understand why Microsoft does that. So some of you have that new accounts page where you see all your detailed information of Microsoft's account, your um, you know information if you have subscription like to a Microsoft 365 or Xbox or and so on uh, all of all of that is there um, so some of you will have that um, Microsoft uh, the insider team actually says it's rolling out to more and more people so we'll see at some point maybe I'm gonna have that option available here but for now it is not available and uh, so nothing much to talk about apart from that um, I'm taking this opportunity to talk about uh, tablet mode. Um, some people are in the impression tablet mode doesn't exist in Windows 11. It does, but the way they did it, you don't switch yourself to tablet mode. You have to have hardware that is actually uh, capable of having um, your keyboard detached from the computer itself. And now that creates a problem because some people have mentioned, well, you know, I have a two-in-one, but it's not a detachable one. And I liked the tablet mode for the touchscreen. And now that capability isn't working in Windows 11 because I can't remove the keyboard. So it doesn't think I have a touchscreen with, you know, with tablet capability or like tablet capabilities. 
So uh, that is a problem, absolutely. Um, but tablet mode exists only when you on the hardware is kind of a, a two-in-one where you can actually remove the keyboard from the computer. So hopefully maybe this will change at some point. Um, there's no logic in not having at least a little switch that you can click and say, hey, I want to go to tablet mode rather than having standard PC. But uh, kind of weird sometimes, some of the things that happens. I still think that the best tablet experience for Windows was Windows 8. For regular PCs, people were going crazy, and yeah, it wasn't the best option. But for the... Um, for the tablets and for the touchscreen devices, actually Windows 8, I think, was great in its tablet mode for touch devices. Windows 10 isn't too bad, but, you know, Windows 8, I think, was the top of what the touch should be. And they should have actually uh, just brought that into Windows 10, Windows 11. If you have a touch device, you could use it in, you know, kind of tablet mode if you want, which would have been better. For the rest, no crashes, no problems. The build seems to be pretty stable. It does have a big list of bug fixes, of course, so uh, that is in there. But nothing much to talk about, you know. Well, uh, it's going to be fun when we see real new features that are offered to us on the Dev Channel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.